Welcome to Birds of Prey Sports, where we weekly cover Ravens and Orioles news. We're your host, CJ and Jared. And as you can see, we're very excited to film this video. We're going to be discussing um, the up and coming, uh, you know, Raven schedule. You know, we're going to be looking at, you know, our home and away opponents. Um, obviously, you know, week one, our week one opponent is the Chiefs. It's already been officially announced. But um, in this video, we're just going to be looking at our home and away opponents. You know, we're going to be predicting what we think the score will be. Now, what we think, you know, the start time of the game will be, um, you know, and just things like that. And, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of good teams on here that we're playing this year. You know, we have we have a lot of games that we like to go to, a lot of away games, too. You know, we got Houston, you know, maybe circled and maybe Dallas circled, you know, and maybe the Giants circled, you know. So that's a lot of, you know, nice Pittsburgh. Games. Yeah, Pittsburgh. You know. <laughs> no, I was playing. We're not going to Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, we got some nice cities in our sights. So, you know, we can just get the video started and, you know, see what see what we're getting into. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited to, you know, predict this. I remember we did this last year. All right. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. That's the wrong year. <laughs> All right. This is the right year. So me and TJ here are going to make the boldest prediction of the video and say that we play the Kansas City Chiefs to start the year. At 8 p.m. on NBC. So, you know, hopefully we're right about that. Oh, look, it is here. Oh, my God. Look at that. We're, we're geniuses, you know. So, <laughs> but anyways, so we got to we'll figure it out. Week two here, obviously, isn't confirmed yet. But what do you think we play week two? I don't see it being an NFC opponent. I see it possibly being a divisional opponent. But what do you think? And we can discuss it, I guess. Um, You know, I, I'm I'm feeling kind of Browns. But I can't. I don't think it's the Browns. I'm feeling. I don't either. I was gonna say, what are we yeah, yeah. Play here? I, I low key saw a rumor earlier. We, okay, I'm low key feeling. Um, hey, Pittsburgh. I could feel. I, I I could feel Pittsburgh. Yeah, I can see that. Because we also gotta. Okay, there's two things we gotta do here. Now that I just I just realized that. Oh, we we have to. See yeah, we gotta play. see what they're playing at that certain week, because we can't overlap those because then it won't be a real I didn't even think about that when I was like doing that. So we gotta go to September here. We'll I just... remember what Joe Walter did in, in 2013. He was not allowed. All right. Got... So this would be the regular Sunday game. So the next week we're on the road. So it's probably a home game. What the it's probably a home game. So what any of these home games here we can it can't be the Bengals because they're playing the Chiefs. Um you know, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go bull. I'm gonna say Steelers. I'm gonna say Steelers too. I'm gonna say Steelers or Broncos, but I'm feeling more Steelers. Yeah, I'm feeling more Steelers too. All right, so is that a confirm? We got Steelers. Yes. Versus Steelers. I can see this being a one p.m. game. Yeah. So that would be what September fifteenth. Yes. One p.m. on CBS. So that'll be our home opener. I think we've only opened against the Steelers, what, once before in 2011, if I'm not mistaken? Blew them out. That was a great game. That was – um, wasn't that the year after we lost them in the, bank, in the divisional round? Yep, yep. Yeah, because then – that wasn't the game Haladi Nada broke his Ben's nose, was it? No, that was the game TJ Husmajali dropped the pass. On that Are you sure? Game. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about the. Oh no, we're talking. Oh, I, I'm talking about like. Oh, that was the. That, yeah, that was the regular season game they played around Christmas. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, that was a Sunday football game here, wasn't it? Yeah, around Christmas time. Yep. I actually think that was 2010. I'm sorry, that was the same year. I think, but was, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, he broke his nose. That was nasty. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just writing some things down here. Um, before we get started, so we can go to week three now. You, who do you think we play week three? Oh, um, I guess we're gonna check who where we're at. They can obviously delay the game. Why would the Tigers two weeks in a row? That's dumb. But, um, so um, we'll probably be on the road here now that I see this. So week three, um, you, see, you said it should be an away game, right? Week three? Yeah. Uh, can you scroll up to the away, away opponents? Yeah, I'm sorry. So week three, you know, I can lo I can low-key see that being – at the Houston Texans, maybe. You think so? So early in the year? I I I, I think so. Or maybe the or maybe the Chargers. Chargers? Yeah, I'll say the Chargers. 
the Chargers. Okay. Oh yeah, the rematch versus um. Why should that be like a Thursday night game though? Like, I can see that Thursday night. Like like a really sh like crappy game. Like it's a Thursday night game. Like you can't even lie. That sounds just like huh. Horrible Bowl on Amazon Prime or whatever. However they yeah, they would they would definitely like advertise it as that. <laughs> Um, I don't see the I don't see the Chargers this early though. I think I would see more. I don't think it'd be two divisional opponents in a row. So I, mm, maybe you're Eagle right. Giants. Hmm. I just don't see it being an NFC team either. Who the hell would it be here? Why do they have the Chiefs twice? I don't know if you noticed that. Um. That's actually stupid. Why do they have the Chiefs twice? Because this won't be a home game. Do you want to say because we can't be a Thursday night game, obviously week two, because that's Bills Miami. Do you want it to be a the Chargers game on Thursday night football? I think that would be a pretty dope game to watch. Yeah, but would they do two Thursday night games in two weeks and three in two of the three weeks though? I I think they would do it. I don't know. I think we'll, I think, think would bring more attention to the Thursday night game. I mean. You got you got the Harbaugh Bowl. I feel like it kind of brings attention, you know, especially to the Amazon platform. Like, I feel, I feel like we should keep it at four, four o'clock on the West Coast CBS, uh, which would be one o'clock for them on Sunday. I think we should keep it at that. Okay. So that's my opinion. That's our opinion. So we agree, Chargers here. Yeah, I agree. All right. So that's what December, September twenty second. Well, four four twenty five probably. CBS. Yes. Well, it'd probably just be four, but I mean it's the same freaking time. <laughs> so all right, so now that we got that out the way. Um, I I noticed next week we're on the road, so we're on the road there. Um, at Twins. Um, so we can we can stick to a home game. So we either got Bills, Bengals, Steelers, Browns. So we get where you guys here. Uh, if I had to be honest, this will probably look like. I feel like this could be like our first interleague game, or interconference, whatever, and it could probably be like the Commanders at one p.m. on Fox, or CBS. Would that be Fox or CBS? I think that'd be. I think that'd be Fox. I say the Raiders. You think the Raiders? Yeah, the Raiders on Fox. But are they going to stack NFC West opponents the first four weeks of the season like that? And I see it too. <laughs> I said I'll agree with you there, Raiders. So what do you see? Let me think. September twenty ninth. What I guess a one p.m. game on the CBS. Yeah, one p.m. All right. All right. So that's out of the way. So now we can do it freely because I mean. I mean, we can't really go for the playoffs here. Um, we can't predict that. We don't even know the Orioles are going to be in the playoffs. I mean, they probably are, but do you yeah. think they play back-to-back -back home games, or do you think they go on the road? We can't. I don't think they're going to alternate be, like that. I think it'll be something where you know maybe we'll play, you know, two home games in a row, and then we'll have like a three-game road stretch. You know, maybe something like that. All right, so we could pick another home game and then do that. Um, I could totally see it being like the Bills. They finally give us another tough challenge after the Chiefs game. I could see it being the Bills here. With it being um, with it, it could be a. I don't see it being a four o'clock CBS game, but like I could definitely see it being like a, a regular, like how it was in twenty twenty two. I see I, Bills. Here. I can see the Bills too, but I feel like it could be a prime time game. I don't know if they're gonna do that. To be honest, hey, like I, think, I, I really don't. I think they'll do that. I mean, you got Josh Allen and Lamar. You know, I can see it being a Sunday night game, honestly. Mm. What if they put it on Monday night though? Because we are like already were on CBS. Monday night. I see the huh? Eagles being Monday night. I see the Eagles being Monday night. Or we can't do this video if you're going to contract on. Man, <laughs> like kind of conflicting me all the time. <laughs> we should do Just like a, a coin flip. We should do a coin flip for. Bills or whoever you said, or no, well, we should do a I, I we, okay, okay, okay. We should do a coin flip between Sunday night and um one p.m. game. So maybe they have a coin flip thing here. 
Toy All right, Story. so you, shut up. All right, well, that doesn't count. So you pick what? So uh, heads is Sunday night, tails is whatever, whatever I said, one p.m. game. All right, so what? you win. So we waste one of our prime time games with oh. the Bills. All right, so versus Bills, first October game of the year, um, October eighth or sorry sixth. Um, eight p.m. No, it's a waste. It's not. We're gonna whoop their ass. <laughs> it's not a waste. So, anyways, um, so now we can predict our three game stretch here. Um, week six, seven, and eight. Let's see here. So, <sighs> hmm. So we got Bengals. Did you see this being a like a Browns game at one p.m. I think this is going to be at 1 p.m., yeah. Bengals game at 1 p.m. Bengals game? Yeah. Bengals game. Yeah. I say Browns. Can we do their coin flip then? Yeah. All right. So you'll always be heads. I'll always be tails. How about that? I might as well just keep it here. All right. So you'll you'll be heads. I'll be tails. Yes. All right. So we got the Browns here at 1 p.m. He wants an easy win. <laughs> I do. At 13th, 1 p.m. Because I think we can only have a max up to six, so that's why I want to space them out nice. All right, so our next road game can be, I don't think it will be a divisional game, but it could be. You never know. Unless you want to throw the Bengals there, like Thursday night or whatever, but I don't know. I, I want to throw the, I want to throw the Bucks in there. You think it's the Bucks? I want to throw the Bucks. I can see it being the Bucks. I see that me boring like the, the week eight game, but I mean I can see the Bucks here. What do you think would be like one o'clock uh, on Fox? Or probably like four fifteen. Why? I just got I just get that feeling from this game. Four fifteen, four twenty five right. game. We're doing a coin flip again. <laughs> or CBS <laughs> too. Yeah. We suck. That's two to. <laughs> Are they just doing it heads tails heads t- like that'd be stupid and pointless. Uh, anyways, um, making up excuses because he's losing guys. Whatever. All right, four o'clock game on CBS versus the NFC opponent. <laughs> the only way I would see it being on CBS is if they were playing here. But but we played it on CBS. Yeah, we there on in twenty fourteen. Yeah, before. So now that actually conflicted with what I said because in 2018 we played them here and we played them on Fox, which usually the other way around. But I don't know. Scheduling is weird. I don't know how they do that. All right. So week eight, another road game. That's going to be the Texans game. I ain't going to lie. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. That would be a nice one. This could be the Texans game. I, this, I think this. I think we're both in agreement there. But the, what is the time you have? So the last time we played the Texans in 2020, that was a one o'clock game, and we were there. So yeah, I can see it being one o'clock. Mm-hmm. I can see it 1 being one p.m. You said I'm gonna do a division. So you see that being a one p.m. game. Yeah. Um, ten twenty seven, one p.m. CBS. Yep. All right. That sounds good. <laughs> so we'll probably come back home. We got the either the Browns, the Bengals, the Broncos, the Eagles, Commanders. I think, I think, personally, week ten will be our bye week, but we'll come home one week before the bye week, and then we'll have a home game after that. But I don't know. So, this week is what? What did we say? The Eagles Monday Night Football. That's what I said. Yeah, the Eagles Monday Night Football. All right, I could definitely could see that. Uh, now you can see it. <laughs> well, I always saw it. So that'll be our first November game. Yeah. 11, 4, um, 8 p.m. ESPN. ESPN. And week 10, I would say, is our bye week. What do you think? Yeah, I like that, yeah. All right. All right, bye week. All right, so... Week 11. Are we going back on the road or are we coming home? 
I see it's been on the road. Yeah, I feel like we're, we have a lot of road games, so. Mm-hmm. I would say it's just one road game, but then we come back for like two in a row. Mm-hmm. All right, so our road game can either be between the Bengals, Steelers, Giants, Cowboys. Bengals, Steelers, Giants, Cowboys. So this is near Thanksgiving week, right? Yeah, well, Thanksgiving is week 13 this year. But I have I have us playing. The yeah, I have us playing the Cowboys. Okay, okay. I was say okay. I was gonna say I'm glad we're agreement on that. So we can already get that one out of the way. So at Cowboys, and that's when I think that's gonna be that's probably CBS. No NBC. No, it's, uh, no, it's always on CBS. The Cowboys always play on CBS. Yeah, they are. No, they don't, wait, wait, wait. Don't they play on Fox sometimes? No, they play on CBS when they play the AFC teams. But like when they played the yeah, Commanders. CBS. Yeah, it was the it was on Fox. So I think that it'll be on CBS. Yeah. So what is that? November twenty eighth. Isn't that like a four o'clock game usually? Like the Lions are always one o'clock. They're always the first game. The Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. So it's four. No, 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 no. It's the it's the uh, Lions that are always first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is always a four o'clock game. You're right. Yeah. It's four p.m. CBS. Does that count as a primetime game? I wouldn't think so. Does count. I think it, it would count. That actually is a great question. <laughs> D Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, Step like an old man, guys. <laughs> so my mic's in the way. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just going to assume no. I'm just gonna assume no. Um, we'll just say it's not. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> we got three more prime times games to work with. Anyway, week eleven, we got to come home for two to play two home games. So we got the Bengals, Browns, Broncos. This could probably be the Broncos. I could, I, I could see the Broncos. Yeah, yeah, just a quick little game. Probably kick their ass. <laughs> this could be on Fox. I feel like a Fox. Nah. Fox Not two AFC teams. Fox, come on. 7-4. I'm trying to figure out the date. So it'd be the 17th. 1 p.m. Yes. Um, so now we have three home games to work with. And one, two, three, four road games to work with. So with this, okay. Actually, I kind of changed my mind here. Um, I don't think it'd be three in a row at home because I don't think they would do three on the road and then three at home right back to back. I could feel like it could be two on the road between that and then Thanksgiving, and then we come back home for well, we can decide whenever that can be. So to me, I think that road game won't be a prime time game because they want to give us enough rest. I could see it being at the Giants. So we're not going that far, like a 1 p.m. game on, on CBS. Okay. Okay, I can, I can get down with that, yeah. Giants at Sunday before Thanksgiving, 11-24, yeah. 1 p.m. Why don't we ever play the Giants here? That was like 2012 was the last time. No, I think it was 2020, but last time of fans it was 2012. Yeah, yeah. Because the time we put after, the time we played them after that was when OBJ torched us. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Right, dead. so yeah. So honestly, if I had to be honest, I think that Bengals game we play when we come here, I think we'll play the Bengals here. I think that's a prime time game. Like that could be us, like a Friday, not Friday. Um, what's Thursday? it called? Sunday night game. No, they wouldn't do two Thursday night games in a row. They could, but I don't think it. Sunday night football. Yeah. You see, it could be Monday night, but I don't think they would do. I think they would space it out. I don't think so, the Eagles game is going to be the only Monday night game. <laughs> versus Bengals. What is that? Eleven. That's twelve. Eight, I think. 8 p.m. on NBC. So we got two more prime time games to work with. So 
that means we'd host at least one, two, three primetime games. So hopefully we got like none last year at home. Duke's bags. <laughs> um so I could see us going to the Steelers maybe the week after the Bengals. Sometimes they like to group up those AFC North opponents like that. Mm-hmm. You think that? I can yeah, see that being yeah. like a four o'clock game though. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so at Steelers. Like four o'clock on CBS, right? Yeah, I can see that, yeah. Especially like 425. 425. That's totally like Jim Nance, Tony Romo territory, depending on who like oh, the Chiefs Jim. play. Oh, Jim. You know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, what that play call? Like, remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. So, we got three games to work with here. Two home, one away. So... We so the one of the last games is either got to be the Browns or the Bengals. To be honest, they haven't done the Browns in a while. I think the last game of the year could be versus the Browns. It's usually the Steelers. Yeah, I can see it being the Browns. Yeah, it's either Steelers or the Bengals. We haven't finished with the Browns since like 2014. Because 15, it was the Bengals. 16, it was the Bengals, I think, again. No. No, it was the Bengals. It was no, 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 no. The week after that was versus oh, the Bengals. All right, right. 2017 right. was versus the Bengals. Yeah. 2018 was versus the Browns. So that's the last time, I think. 2019 was versus the Steelers. 2020 was versus the Bengals. 2021 was versus the Steelers. 2022 was versus the Bengals. 2023 was versus the Steelers. I think it's going to be the Browns, the final game of the year. Yeah, but, but we'll, we'll we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. But I think that it's the Steelers, then the Commanders, and then the Bengals, and then Browns. Those are the final three games, in my opinion. I like that. I like those. You games. like that? So I think the Commanders game will be like, since it's here, I think that'll actually be a Fox game. Till fifteen, till twenty-two. Jaden Daniels. <clears throat> But yeah, we're gonna eat him alive. One PM on C- on Fox, mm-hmm. and then if I had to be honest, that Bengals game could be that Christmas, but I don't know. I don't think so because think- because it would only be three days rest. So, yeah. but I've seen the rumors with that, but like nothing's confirmed. So, I think it's gonna be at Bengals. But that's 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 four twenty five territory. What do you think? Or do you think that it's Monday night territory? No, <gasps> that's actually no, no, no. That's actually a great game for Monday night football. Late in the year, at Cincinnati, we've played two Monday night games a few years. I think you did it in twenty twenty two, if I'm not mistaken. Or I'm sorry, we did it in twenty twenty one. What that was the Saints in the no 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 twenty twenty one it was the uh the Browns and the um not the Browns um twenty twenty one I'll put me I mean the schedule's right it here the Raiders so it was the Raiders and... Raiders and Colts yeah so I think it's gonna be a Monday night game with heavy implications possibly December thirtieth. ESPN, because we still got to use one of our primetime games. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. So we only got five. We may need to switch one to a primetime game, but we we can. I guess we'll decide that afterwards. So versus the Browns, what do you see that being? I said being a one o'clock game. Yeah, like just kind of like a regular. Yeah. Like, the last games of the season are always one o'clock for us. It seems like. Besides last year when it didn't matter. Yeah. So, all right. So we have five primetime games. We could have a max of six. Um, are there any games you see that we could switch? I I don't think so. I think we predicted it pretty well, to be honest. So, um, unless you count that Cowboys game as primetime, but I don't know. It's not an eight o'clock game. 
I count it as prime time because literally you're the only teams playing on Thanksgiving. The whole country is watching you. I mean, I count it. All right. Well, I'll count it that. So it could say we have six, but I don't know. There's no like definitive answer that I looked up. So, um, so I guess I can stop sharing here. So the schedule that we predicted was we didn't predict this one, but it's the Chiefs week one, uh, September 5th, 8 p.m. on NBC versus Steelers week two, nine, uh, September 15th, 1 p.m. on CBS at Chargers on September 22nd, 425 at CB on CBS versus Raiders September 29th, 1 p.m. on CBS versus Bills 1026. Um, oh, I'm sorry, October 20, October 6th, 8 p.m. on Sunday Night Football. Um, at Browns, uh, October 13th, 1 p.m. on CBS, at Buccaneers, October 20th, 425 on CBS, at Texans, um, hmm. I wish they had more prime time slots. Maybe they move one of the games to Saturday. I don't know. Um, at Browns, I'm sorry, uh, no, sorry, at Texans, uh, October 27th, 1 p.m. on CBS, versus Eagles, um, November 4th, 8 p.m. on ESPN, by week, then versus Broncos, November 17th, 1 p.m. on CBS, at Giants, 11, uh, 24, um, October, I'm sorry, November 24th, 1 p.m. on CBS, at Cowboys on, on Thanksgiving, so that's the 28th, 4 p.m. on CBS, versus Bengals, um, December 8th, 8 p.m. on NBC, um, at Steelers, um, um, uh, December 15th, 425 CBS, versus Commanders, December 22nd, 1 p.m. on Fox, at uh Bengals December um December 30th um 8 o'clock on ESPN um and then versus Browns January 5th 1 uh 1 p.m. on CBS. So I think that sounds good. That's a good schedule. I like I like that schedule a lot too. It's hard. So like if this were the schedule, like obviously you start off with the Chiefs, that's a hard game. And then you kind of got like a lax stretch. You know the Steelers aren't lax, but you know they should be. Um you know, Steelers, Chargers, Raiders, all winnable games. Bills, you know, not necessarily a winnable game, but, like, they're not the same team they used to be. So, hopefully, maybe we can take advantage of that. Yeah. Um, I say the Browns, Bucks, like, two good games. Maybe we could win, but the Browns are always going to be hard. But then, like, the Texans and Eagles back-to-back, -back, that's tough. That would be – that's a tough – that's a tough little stretch. But then it's Broncos, Giants, another two-game stretch we really should win. But then it's Cowboys, Bengals, Steelers. Those three games right there. I know I said the Steelers weren't a threat earlier in the year, but like when you play there, I, I, we just become the most doofy of doofuses when we play in Pittsburgh. Um, and then you got the Commanders, Bengals, Browns. It's a good little stretch there. So we got good like tough stretches. We got easy stretches, you know, as well. But you know, it's always it's the National Football League. You know, any given Sunday. So I give that schedule ten out of ten. And I guess we can, when the schedule comes out, we can say how many got right. We're already one for one with the first game of the year. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I got to say. You, you know, yeah, I really like the schedule a lot. Um, one thing I am excited for, you know, whether we get it wrong, whether we get it right or wrong, I'm really excited for our primetime games. You know, I feel like. Yeah, they gypped really us last year. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like we're going to get a lot of good quality primetime games this year. You know, I could definitely see the Eagles. Um, like I said, I could see the Bills game being a primetime game. Um, you know, definitely, you know, against a divisional opponent, you know, like the Steelers or the Bengals, you know, or maybe both. I'm not sure, but I'm that's the games I'm very excited for, you know, and have my eyes on. So, mm -hmm. you know, Wednesday, uh, no, Wednesday uh, tomorrow, I'll be very excited to see, you know, what they cooked up for us. You know, I, I will say that, you know, yeah. those are the playing games to, you know, Kind of see what's you know, kind of predict. Yeah, and what the only prime time game we had at home last year was versus the Bengals, right? Yeah, Thursday night football. Yeah, that's embarrassing, man. That's embarrassing. But since we were the one seed, thirteen and four last year, they got to cook up at least five, at least five. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully we make it worth it. Hell yeah! I mean, look, one they I want to see at least three games here on prime time. Yeah, I, I don't care if it's three here, three away. I don't care. Because we're already doing one away. We know that for sure. So I want to see three prime time games here. Bengals, Eagles, whoever else. You know, like, those are all good games. So uh, it'd be crazy if that was this whole thing was right. <laughs> we need to play the lottery or something if we get this yeah, we right. Yeah, we need to go on uh, FanDuel. I almost said Fandingo. <laughs> we need to go on FanDuel. <laughs> Anyways. I think that's probably all in this video. Yeah. Um. So that's all in this video. 
I, I remember I, I mentioned earlier we'll, we'll do predictions, but we'll just save that for tomorrow when the actual schedule comes out. You know, that makes more sense. So, you know, I'll be we'll be excited for that, you know, pre to predict what our record will be. I definitely don't think it'll be 13 games win that will win, but, you know, maybe close to that, maybe like 11 or 12. Um, but this was a very fun video. You know, just kind of see the layout of the schedules and all that. Um, hopefully we get at least five right. But, um, yeah, that's all we got for you guys in this video today. Make sure to check out our social medias, our Instagram, our Twitter, our TikTok. Uh, make sure to also check out our second channel, Casual Cinema. There's going to be a lot of solid movies coming out this summer and later on in the year. And um, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment on the games you're most excited for, you know, for us to play. And uh, for not not for us to play, but for the Ravens to play, we're not. Gonna you know, send, don't don't send us out there, please. please. <laughs> uh, but, we're gonna be birds of CTE. <laughs> we're gonna be like Antonio Brown. Uh, but make sure you know you know make sure you comment which what games you're most excited for to see the Ravens play. And uh, again, like and subscribe. But uh, we're birds of prey sports. TJ and Jared, and we're out. We're out.